So guys, hello and welcome back to an MSS video. Today you join me on the ground in Newcastle. Uh, we're currently with this uh, Boeing 737-8 Max Golf Tango Uniform Mic X-Ray. This is of course the new iFly uh, 737 Max size. I spent some time in a video, sometimes I've uploaded, but I thought this, this aircraft has almost changed the way I do simming. I've been massively using the um, PMDG for the majority of my simming for a long time now. Um, for those of you that have been in the channel for quite a while, you always know the NG's generally been my favourite aircraft to fly. This has changed up a little bit. I will I will love this once FS2 crew comes out for it. But so far, I haven't touched my NG in weeks. I mean, granted, I don't fly much anymore as I used to. But, oh, sorry, compared to what I used to fly, but this aircraft generally has changes. I thought it would be wrong if I didn't do a video on it. So, today, you join me on the ground in Newcastle. Um, we're doing service uh, BY 1384 down to Menorca. It's currently the end of October. This service today is the final um, service down to, operational service down to Menorca that we will do for summer season 2024. We are, as such, we are very light today. We have 120 passengers scheduled on the service. So it should be a nice, easy flight, nice high, uh, nice high cruising out, uh, level down to Menorca. It all should be well. Um, flight time today, two hours, twenty-five minutes, and we are scheduled for thirty-nine thousand feet as the cruising level. We are just refueling at the moment. We're getting eight tons of fuel on board for our sector today. And uh, yeah, it should be nice, smooth sailing. So uh, we'll get in the flight deck then, and uh, we'll start setting the aircraft up. So welcome to the flight deck. The aircraft currently isn't uh, powered up. I'm going to call in dark state from the sector it's already done this morning. So we need to get the aircraft set up. So initially coming in the flight deck, uh, we'll have a look at the circuit breaker panel, make sure there's nothing sticking out. Have a look at emergency curtains present. Got the fire extinguisher, the crash axe will be somewhere down here as well. If they've modelled it. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. I'm sure I'll find it eventually if they have. Good stuff, the gear lever is down, the flaps are up, and the... Um, the hatching for the manual extension is closed. Right, so we'll get the battery on. The aircraft should start wearing into life now. We'll come down quickly do the fire test. Make sure we can cancel that. Lovely. That's all good. We've got ground power available so we can connect that. Now the aircraft will start booting up. Good stuff. So we'll give that a moment to do its thing now. Come down to um, the seat. There we go, the screen's coming on. Nice, enormous screens that the Max has got. What we'll do firstly is get some lighting going. All the way to set already, so all we need to do is get GSX to board it, essentially. Get that on. Happy days. Okay, so fire check's done. We'll do the cargo test as well. We'll do the light test. Fantastic. Happy days. Oxygen tested 100%. Got oxygen pressure. Uh, we'll align the IRS whilst we're up here. And do the right side one. Align on DC. And there we go, it's extinguished. Happy days. So we'll get the um, time monitoring up. Service center phone switches off or text the uh, leading edge device indicator. So there's a couple of errors with the aircraft up here. The stall warning test shouldn't work for a few minutes after power up, but it does in the aircraft, uh, so we'll just give it a go. May as well test it whilst we're here. Got the yaw dampener on. Uh, navigation tra transfer on this place, which is a normal. Fuel pumps as required. We'll get to set the ground power and battery. Uh, that's all fine. We'll get the emergency exit lights armed. Test all them. That's all fine. Window heat can come on. 
let your hydro pumps and stay off. Trimmers on. Packs can go to auto. Get the position steady. So that's just to the right. Happy days. So what we'll do now is we'll stop there for the moment. Now the emergency exit lights and stuff are all on. We're going to go and do our uh, performance. We need to do initial uh, performance at the start of setup using our flight data. Just to ensure we're not performance limited for our departure today. How do I get to the takeoff performance? So complete that. How's our fueling doing? Oh great, we're done. Eight tons of fuels loaded for the flight. So we are at Newcastle. We're going to be heading out of runway 25 today. Let's try the current meta according to another graph that I got open here. Uh, oh, actually, hang on a minute. Have we got an ATIS online? Oh, we got London. And we have got an ATIS. Great. We'll get that going then. So that'd be 118380. I want to tune VHF2. Now that should be working now. Why it's not working, I'm not sure. Yeah, that really should be working. Let's try that. Nope. Yeah, V Pilot's not syncing up with that for some reason. Which is strange, because I'm sure it worked the other day when I did use it. Oh well, we'll tune it in this side, I guess. Yeah, that definitely worked the other day, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but not to worry. Link clearances are available. Departing aircraft make initial contact with London Control on 133.705. Surface went 240 degrees 6 knots, went variable between 190 and 270 degrees. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Clouds few at 2,500 feet. Temperature 12, 2.3. QNH 1018. Acknowledge receipt of information. Bravo and advise aircraft type on first contact. Bravo 1018. This is Newcastle Airport information. Bravo at time 1220 Zulu. Automatic. Runway 25 in use. Transition level. Flight level 70. Data link clearances are available. Departing aircraft make initial contact with London Control on 133.705. Surface went 240 degrees 6 knots. Okay, that's fine. So we'll put a preliminary weight down as per the flight plan in here. We'll see if we can get over a flat one out of here today. And we can, happy days. Yeah, I'm not surprised because obviously we're so light for this sector. So we'll be able to do a flat one takeoff with no difficulty. So we are definitely not uh, weight limited today. So, uh, that's done. Where were we up to? Uh, we can start with the FMC now. Oh, sorry, we'll put 1018 in here before off, I guess. Great. So, uh, Ident, we are at Newcastle. I do like how responsive the um, FMC is in this. Realistic or not, I'm not sure, but I do like it. So, Newcastle, I'm going to Menorca. We are Tom6, Yankee Victor. We'll try flight plan request. Now, I did this um, last week when I last flew this aircraft. And it loaded a flight plan, but it loaded the wrong one in. So, we'll give it a go and we'll see if it works or not. But we'll have to be very um, cautious when scrutinising the flight plan to make sure it does cross-check. We'll do a quick check now to make sure it aligns. So, go ahead and pop the gas over 16th arrival. Uh, so Honley, Direct, Sitter, Geo Fatlines, to Sopil, Balan, Evpok, Narak, Galhoth, India, Lomra, Rokan, uh, Gennat, Golf, India, Romeo, Salon, Solid, number 727, Sargo. Great, that's fine, so that does cross check, so it's done its job this time. Uh, I'll put the girly one Yankee in for now, but I'll have to see what we get allocated for departure today. Uh, when we get down there, it's currently 1 9 in use, but we'll reevaluate that when we get a bit closer. Sargo 6 Fox. Excellent. So, performance. We have 8 tons of fuel on board. That includes 600 kilos of extra fuel, as well as potentially CBs when we get down there. So, we have a fuel weight of 55.9. 
Reserve for this sector is two tons exactly, and that's Barcelona. We're cruising at 390 today. We have a cruise wind of 283 at 3. Ice deviation is 0. Transition level 70 as the ATIS described. Execute. Now the takeoff data preliminary is takeoff to 32 degrees. Great. And there'll be flaps 1 for departure. 144, 144, 150. Just check that cross check, which it does. Happy days. Then I'll pop the CG in automatically. Happy days. Uh, the reduction is a thousand feet at Newcastle following the NADP2 departure. Uh, and it'll be the same for the engine out as well here. Lovely. We'll go to fix. We'll do number tango uh, slash 25. The engine out here is uh, straight ahead to. Oh, is it actually? No, I think it's straight at 25 miles, yeah. Never mind, I'm thinking the go-around procedure. So that's fine, we'll stick with that. Happy days. That is the FMC all set up. So we can move on to the aircraft itself now. We should really get boarding at this point because boarding we're going to end up um, running very late if we don't. Our takeoff time is 1 o'clock, which is. Oh, sorry, our departure time is 1 o'clock, which is now. So we are a bit behind, but we're behind to get in the aircraft anyway, so. Uh, we'll do our best to make it up. And we're flying back to Newcastle afterwards anyway, so we have plenty of time to make that time on the sector today. Uh, go back up the overheads. Yeah, we'll get the tug ready to go. Nobody. Lovely. Uh, fueling's done, so get the seabell signs on. Uh, cruising levels 390. The elevation in Menorca. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Is 300. Don't be alarmed by GSX staying that. He's just getting the tug connected um, in anticipation of us being ready to go. It's a new feature which I quite like. The MFRA for Newcastle is uh, 1270 or 1266 if we're going to be precise. So we'll get that set. Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. There we go. Lovely. We'll do terrain traffic airport. We'll set the um, runway heading. Oh, there we go. There's the IRSs aligned. So I believe it's 246, isn't it? Yeah, 246 for Newcastle. V2 is 150. Hello. Oh my days, it's all over the place. There we go. 246 in here as well. Great, and then flight level uh, 80. There's the initial plan. Um, we're planning to halve the ADF in this side and the VOR on that side. Uh, terrain, airport as well. QNH was 1018. That's all fine. Auto brake to RTO. Hydraulic pressure is fine because they're not currently powered. We'll set that away Light doing slot. this test. Oh my dear, that's loud. Oh, up. Jesus. Wind shear. That's actually Wind shear. Definite. Wind shear. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Obstacle. Obstacle. Pull up. Sink rate. We'll just let that do its Pull thing. Pull up. That should be installed. Don't by. sink. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Gear. Too low. Flaps. Glide slope. Bank angle. Bank angle. Approaching minimums. Minimums. 2,500. 1,000. 500, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear. Too low, terrain, caution, terrain, caution, terrain, 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 pull up. Caution, obstacle, caution, obstacle, 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 pull up. Is it finished now? I think it's finished. Finally. That was definitely loud. But never mind. Um, so, 
Uh, also done there is I've tuned the Newcastle VOR uh, in the top, the ILS is standby in case we need to return and I've set the ADF for Newcastle as well. So that's all set up nicely. Uh, quick check at the config warning, that's fine, speed brake is down. The trim needs to be set at 6 uh, for departure. We'll get right above it so we can see what we're doing properly. 6, lovely. Just turn this guy down. Okay, what's it? Uh, I contact tower 118 decimal 630, right? 118 630, contact all 653, right? 118 right, contact all 630, contact all 653, right? Little control of very good afternoon, Tom Jet 6, Yankee Victor at Newcastle stand 1 0. Uh, we're type 7 for you at Max, so bravo on board, clearance please, Menorca as far as. Stand by, Shalate Romeo, Unicom 1, CT. Take the next unit, 32 Menorca, Gurley 3 X ray departure, just called 7571. Clear Menorca, Gurley 3 X ray departure, Swap 7571, Tom Jet 6, Yankee Victor. Thank God for that. That busy, that frequency is far too busy. Okay, so we're cleared now anyway, so that's fine. We'll have to change our departs just to the free x ray. But not to worry, that's set now. Very little change in the flight plan anyway. So we can go over our briefing at this point. So um, the departure briefing today, we're flying down to Menorca. We are going to push back from stand 10 here, we're going to taxi out along Delta, all the way to Delta 1 from runway 25. Our minimum takeoff fuel for this sector today is uh, 7.1 tonnes, we have 8 on board, including 600 kilos extra fuel for potential bad weather in Menorca. Emergency briefing as normal, our takeoff today is going to be a flat five, sorry, flat 1 departure, to your rate of 20% to an assumed temp of 32 degrees. Speed 144, 144, 150 and a trim of uh, 6.7 set. That's changed, hang on, there we go, 6.7 set. Our departure SID is going to be the Gurley 3 X-ray departure through number Tango Whiskey 02, Nittud and Gurley. We have a max 180 knots restriction at the first waypoint, which we shall set. Uh, max 250 knots at Nittud, which we shall also set because it hasn't ported in for some reason. And then to Gurley thereafter. After Gurley, uh, our routing to um, in Auckland today is the Papa 18 to Gasco, Papa 16 to Rival, Upper Papa 16 to Croft, UL 612 to Honley, direct to Sitet, Upper number 8000 to Sopil, direct Ballon, Evpok, Narak, Gulf Alpha India, Lomra, direct Rockin, Gennet, Gulf India Romeo, Salon, Sullid, and November 727 to Sargo, and the Sargo 6 Fox into Menorca. That cross checks, we can activate and execute. The routing uh, distance is 983, which cross checks with the flight plan within 10%. Extra fuel is uh, discussed. Generally, uh, the cruise is going to be fairly smooth today. I'm actually a factor of 4 en route, uh, with a general tailwind of. Uh, well, an average wind component of 1 knot tailwind on the way down there. Flat time 2 hours 25 minutes, no threats uh, to discuss. Any questions? That's the departure briefing complete. Great, so that's done. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll wait for the passengers to finish boarding. Um, once they're pretty much there, uh, we'll do a quick PA and then we can get uh, on the way for our trip to Menorca. Okay, so that's um, the boarding complete. Just all I've done in the meantime is uh, get rid of the uh, ground power and fueling and that has been armed and we've done a quick peer to the passengers. So what we can do now is we can uh, close the flight deck door. Excellent. Uh, we're going to have to get back on that busy frequency in a second to request push and start. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, parking brake is set, we'll unchock ourselves. I think the GSX chocks will still be there anyway, so not to worry. Uh, that is everything else done with. Uh, we'll close the main cabin door. We can ask GSX to get rid of the jetway. That should move away. 
I'll be that is, I'm gonna just keep the performance uh, loaded on here. Great. I'll be that is, so, uh, we'll do the pre flight checklist now. So, pre flight checklist oxygen tested 100%. Instrument transfer on the split switch is on normal auto. The window heater on. Specialization mode selected is auto. Flight instruments is heading 1 at 5, altimeter 1018 and cross checked. Parking brake is set and the start levers are cut off as the pre flight check is complete. So we'll get the aircraft configured um, for the push and start. Excellent. We'll pressurise the hydraulics. And there's the pressure rising. Excellent. Well, the APU's on the uh, bleeds uh, and there's power in the packs at the moment. A the anti flash light can stay off until we're being cleared. Uh, same with the transponder. Lovely. So that's that. So also we'll do the um, before start checklist up to anti-collision light. So if I the door closed and locked, fuel is 8 tons on board, 7.1 required, and the pumps are on. Passenger signs are on. Windows are locked. MCP uh, V2150 heading 246 altitude 5080. Takeoff speed V1144 VR144 V2150. CD preface completed. Rudder and aileron trims 3 and 0. Taxi and TRV is completed and we'll hold it behind the collision light. So. Control Singapore. Oh, God, here we go. Over to tower uh, 118.630, run air 1.62, thank you. Stations all stations, sorry I've got to close quickly and expectantly. I do apologise, I'm trying to stay on longer because this sector will now be closing, or stations or stations this sector is closing. Fuck the heavens for that. Because <laughs> we, we literally, I just not know how to deal with that, ideally. It's a bit busy at Newcastle though, so do use Unicom appropriately. Newcastle traffic, time jet 6, Yankee Victor, stand 1-0, push and start facing to the east, Newcastle traffic. So, and the collision light can go on, transponder alt off, we'll complete the checklist, uh, and the collision light is on, the four star check is completed. Great, so we're fully ready to go. Great. So just let the tug get connected and they'll be ready to go. Cabin crew, arm slides and cross check. Get the armrest down as well. Great. So I'll be facing east on the apron. Release parking brakes, please. Back at rest. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. So, we're going to wait till we're clear of the apron. One thing I forgot to brief, uh, we're going to do a single engine taxi out today. Uh, standard procedure at the moment with TUI. Uh, especially given how long these were the engines take to start on the max. So, yeah, we'll do a CETO for today's flight. Great. So, we'll wait till we're clear of the apron to start doing this. So the... Uh, Start sounds in this engine, so four V's, leap one V's, are absolutely fantastic though. We shall see in just a moment. So we'll kill the packs. Let the packs off. Okay. Starting engine two. So that valve open. N2. N1. goes. There's the motoring. We can hear it wearing away. Just wait till it starts spooling up again. The whole idea of the motoring um, is that the engine, particularly when it's hot or and it cools down pretty quickly, all the... oh hang on, I'll discuss it in a second. 25 fuel in. Oil pressure. Fuel flow on EGT. 
So yeah, what happens essentially is um, it's pulling air through the engine to cool it down and to change the the what's it called the shape of the um, internal combustion chamber in the fan blades. That's my understanding of it anyway. Up it goes. You should get the little whir, is it? As it stabilizes. There it is. <laughs> and it's easy dropping, and that is a stable start on two. So I'll confirm that we start the ground crew. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Unlocking gear. Great. So CETA procedures, Gen two can go on. We're on the so I put the probe piece to on. Packs uh, one or two can go on with the isolation valve closed. So the APU's power in the left pack and the uh, engine two's power in the right pack. Oh, bloody hell, just drop us on the floor then, why don't you? Um, so start switch number two to continuous. APU will remain on for the left gen and the left pack. System page should come up, wall set flaps one. It's all its way down. So our flight controls check. Fall up. Fall down. Centre. Uh, fall left. Fall right. Left is clear. Right is Center. clear. Center. Rudder left. Rudder right. Center. Flight control check complete. So he's on his way off. We'll do a seat over four taxi checklist. So generate two is on. Pro feet is on. Engine two anti ice is not required. Isolation valve is closed. Engine starts. Number two is continuous. Recall is checked and everything that we're seeing is expected. Electric for Gen 1, hydraulic for hydraulic system 1 and air conditioning for pack 1 and the APU bleed. Just give the ground crew a wave, he's off. Uh, recall is checked, autobrick RTO, flap lever, flaps, uh, one required, one selected, green lines. Uh, start lever number 2 is idle detent, flight control is checked and the ground equipment is clear. As a CETO before taxi chat is complete. Newcastle traffic, Tom Jet 6, Yankee Vector, Tatio and Delta 1. Runway 25 via Delta. Newcastle traffic. So, get the taxi lights on. Clear left side. Clear right. We'll release the parking brake. And it should start to roll away. Even, even though we only have one engine going, um, the aircraft's still very light. Maybe we need a little bit of power actually. We'll try a little bit and see if that gets us going. Just to reach the breakaway thrust. There we go, we're away. One thing I do like with this aircraft is the wing flex, it looks fantastic. Usually it's a lot more slippy than this, it'll just roll away on its own. But I guess we are going all the way to um, display and we've got 8 tons of fuel on, so maybe with the single engine it probably won't. But it's taxiing fine, nevertheless. We'll quickly check the performance as we taxi out. We should have done it really here before pushing, but not to worry. 63.8 is as zero fuel weight. We're planning for 63.7 for departure. So gross weight. So that matches up nicely. So the performance is still valid. We don't need to recompute. So that is absolutely fine.
before takeoff checklist. Sorry, seat out before takeoff checklist. Generator's on. Anti ice is off. I think she'll have auto. Star Trek is continuous. Oh, he's a company aircraft. Uh, recall is checked. Start to use the idle details. Flaps are uh, 1 1 green light. Stabiliser trim is 6.7 units set. That's the seat over 40 off checks complete. Newcastle traffic, Tom Jet 6 Yankee Victor, runway 25, loud and light. Newcastle traffic. So, lights on, strobes on. TCAS can go to TAR. Clear left side. Left and right on as well. Vacating down there. So that's off roll into position as he gets off. Sixty on Kimmy, number two five take off, Gurley, three X straight departure, Newcastle traffic. Okay, so we're good to go. So we'll start the um, chrono clock. The elapsed time will start on its own, we'll set up to 40%. Stabilised. Toga, set take off thrust. N1 heading for that toga. Frost set. 80 knots. Checked. Release of pressure. Full hold. Accelerate, so we'll pitch down and again accelerating. About well, a second of down jump for every 10 knots of speed uh, increase we have. And there's flaps up. That's fine. Accelerate to 50 knots, flaps up, and let's. Zero, so it says standard passing zero six. So it says standard passing zero six five. Now, cross checks. Standard set. The version will be cleared up to uh, one five zero. It's really hard to do everything yourself on this FS two crew, especially while hot flying. 
So if it's one five zero, so you have to take off checklist now. Engine needs are on. Packs are auto. Landing gear is up. And the flaps are off, no lights. Have to take off checklist complete. Right, so we're approaching ten thousand anyway now. Itself very easy this aircraft. You got traffic, Alpha and six feet, and ten thousand feet. Pushing start, yes, so, ten checks. Traffic. Light sense. Pressurization, these feet are not good temp pressure. Climb, different pressures rising, and the cap must begin to rise as well. They're passing this up now, so you can we can accelerate it because the TPT must be restrictions being increased. Set one to one, this one flying and come to. We'll finish this time. We'll finish this time. Charlie Fox at the bar.
so guys, welcome back. You join me in the cruise. We've been there for an hour and 45 minutes now, and we're just crossing at the Spanish airspace at the moment. Just crossed over the Spanish Alps, you can see here on the left, and the entire country of Andorra is visible uh, off our right side, just down there. And uh, now is a good time to start planning on ascent, because we've got uh, just under 100 miles left until uh, we need to start it. So, generally looking at the weather in uh, Menorca, it's going to be runway 19 for the arrival. It's generally quite good as well, it's not meant to deteriorate uh, until, I believe it's 6 o'clock. Or 7 o'clock local time, and it's currently 4 o'clock, so we have plenty of time to get in safely. Um, our arrival is going to be from way 19. Same as planned, we're going to stick with the um, Sargo 6 Foxtrot. It's going to be ILS Zulu from way 19. I believe, anyway. Uh, just checking out the charts of the both, yeah, it's probably going to be ILS Zulu. Or actually, ILS Yankee transitions through the star, so we'll pick ILS Yankee, as that makes more sense to the route. Uh, following the Sargbo 6 Fox through Donav. Then, if we go into legs, select plan mode and have a quick look see. Yeah, perfect. So, you can execute that. Happy days. That's all we like to see. So, our fuel's 3.1 at arrival. We got 3.8 on board now, so it's at 700 kilos less than now, so 59 tons will be our arrival weight. So I'll pop over here and we'll do landing uh, en route. It's going to be Menorca, runway 19er. It's currently dry, the wind in Menorca at the moment is 1605 knots. The temperature is 19 degrees with a QNH of 1018. You can really see why the summer season comes to the end now with the temperature about low uh, mid in the afternoon. We're going to do flap 30 for the arrival. Uh, AC's on, the anti ice is not required. Uh, we'll see what Ultimate 2 gets us, and we don't have any uh, NNCs today. Our landing weight, as we said, was 59 tons, and we'll add 5 to the VRF. Right. So uh, we have a 2550 available and we need 1965 to stop. And that's with uh, Autobrit 2. We could probably get away with Autobrit 1. But I'm not sure how much I trust it. But when I get off at the section Charlie, just looking at the chart, which unfortunately with the limitations of the aircraft you can't see. Uh, at the moment, um, it doesn't actually, yeah, sorry, it doesn't say what the run with N Fable from Charlie is, but look at the scale, it's going to be about 1900. So, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with Auto Break 2 and we'll see how we get on with that. Uh, we can always break down to 1 if we touch down in good time. So, yeah, we'll do Auto Break 2. Uh, flat 30 for the arrival. I'll bear that in mind for the frequency and courses. For fix, we'll do Menorca. 5, 10, and then for the MSA, it'll be the Menorca VOR and the 25 Northern Mile Range Run. Excellent. The descent winds are going to be uh, 310, 200, and 100. Winds themselves, uh, according to the flight plan we have today. 310, it's 173 at 36. At 200, it's 178 at 33. And at 100, it's 179 at 20. We'll leave the transition as set. The ISO deviation is going to be plus 4. So you can execute that. And that should be the uh, FOC setup complete. So starting with the aircraft, I'll go from the top downwards. Then actually 300 is prior set from departure, and that is uh, correct in cross check. Nothing else for the overhead coming down to the MCP. We have a final approach course of 187. We 
special set to both sides. Up he does. Also up to two is set. Nothing needs... Sorry, there is, never mind. We need to do um, the EFIS 1018 to QNH. And the minimum for the ILS is 5.30. Great. That sets the frequencies are 111.5. Oh, no way, that's the same as Newcastle. Fantastic, we'll just swap them over. Lovely, Bob's your uncle. I don't know why Unicoms became detuned, but we'll just retune it, not to worry. Good. Happy day, so that's all set up nicely. Um, Top of the sensor, 40 miles to go. We'll go over our alternates and we'll carry out a briefing uh, before we give them the as the checklist. So, uh, alternates available for this flight. We have uh, Barcelona, Valencia, Girona and Mallorca. Barcelona is not great. Valencia is completely usable. Girona is currently usable and it's not meant to deteriorate in conditions until... Oh, it, it actually doesn't. So, Girona is completely usable. And Mallorca... Look at the meta. Um, is hit and miss. It's probability 40% anywhere between 3 o'clock and tomorrow morning of thunderstorms, rain, and CB. So, <coughs> Girona and Valencia are my two good alternates that are trustworthy, let's call them. They're not going to change. So, the alternate fuel is going to be 2.1 for Girona. And for Valencia, 2.4, and we're due to land with 3.1. So you have enough for a go around either way. Uh, after landing, we'll do a long roll out down to Charlie. Uh, again, you can't see us, down to the rapid exit. We'll come back up and we're going to have a uh, remote stand one uh, for parking today. Okay, are you ready for the approach brief? So the approach briefing is into a Manoka. Current weather in Menorca is generally quite good, winds 160 at 5 knots, uh, a slight crosswind from the east, uh, but very minor only. The cloud base is for you at 2,800 feet and it's 19 degrees. The next forecast, significant change at 10 o'clock tonight, and it's uh, possible gusting winds at 25 knots, but that's not relevant to our flight today. Our arrival is going to be the Osago 6 Fox Trip depart, uh, arrival, sorry, routing uh, the Osago Delta 3440 and then 13 DME up to Donov, and we've transitioned from Donov onto Alice Yankee for runway uh, 19. Minimums is 530, uh, which is below the cloud base, so no concerns over the minima. The approach frequency is 111, this is 5 a set, and the course is 187 a set on both sides. Path match here is 1900 feet, and that's establishing at 5 miles. Elevation of 300, set, sorry, 300 feet, which is set. The MSC has got the Mahon VOR of 2,500 feet, which is also set as a ranger. Transition altitude is 6,000 feet, which I will update now that we found it. No obstacles on the approach course, as a standard 3 degree glide slope into runway uh, 1 minor. The go around is straight out at 2,000 feet, then the left hand turn back to the VOR, climbing 2,500 feet in the holding. Then it'll be flat 30, auto brake 2, uh, with Max Chavez. We can drop to auto brake 1 if we touch down early. Uh, into vacated Charlie, it'll be stand 1 for arrival. Our primary alternates are Gyron and Valencia. Alternate fuel being 2.1 and 2.4 respectively. No threats to this arrival. Any questions? Okay, that's the approach brief complete. So, the descent checklist. Specialization, landing altitude 300 feet, it is set. Recall. Checked. Also brake, level 2, set. Landing data, VRF flat 30. Sorry, flat 30, VRF 135, minimums is 530 feet, set. Approach briefing is completed. Set checklist complete. Excellent, so we are ready for set. So we'll do a bit here for the in a moment, but uh, we'll get on another set now into um, the knocking. And uh, uh, cut back with you guys. Um, we are a little bit closer.
So guys, welcome back. We are just about to descend through 10,000 feet now. On the way down to Menorca. Yeah, we've got the fish trawl across Donov. Uh, so we're a bit high, but we're bringing it back quite nice now. There's 10,000 feet, so we're doing the 10 checks. Lights coming on. Uh, see what's already on. The pressurization beats from the pack stuff pressure is still good. Descending with the differential pressure rising, the cap not is uh, level of where we are. Bang on the bank. Delta 30. Set down. We do the approach checklist now. Our temperature is 1018. 1018 says approach checklist complete. Hope you guys see it. We'll continue our descent uh, into Menorca. Currently due in uh, only just over 10 minutes behind schedule, which is pretty good given we set our well, 25 minutes late. So happy days. I'll we'll keep going with our descent. So guys, we are just uh, about to establish now, at right the crossover, so I'm going to arm the approach actually, and there we go, straight on to the localizer, happy days. Speed brake can be stowed now as well, so we're about to get the flaps on speed, uh, as a matter of fact we've got flaps warm, and that just set the speed nicely, happy days. Is that the um, one we're heading, 187? set and the missed approach is uh, 2,100 feet. The trust set once we've established. Oh, there we go. So we've established the 2,100 feet set. Happy days. So. Uh, I'm going to disconnect now. Uh, I'll hand fire the rest of the way. Uh, Great. And the auto throttle can come out as well. It's maintaining speed at either of us quite nicely on the glider, so we'll just let it do its thing for now. We'll put flat out soon. Flat 5 in this thing is very draggy. It's supposed to be a lot more draggy than in real life, apparently. So uh, we'll hold off on flat 5 for as long as we can manage to. It's quite a nice view there. Very nice, actually. Okay, if we're at eight and a half miles, speed's dropping just to the upper below side of flaps one, so we'll go flat five now. And then we'll uh, match the speed to the flat five speed. You can see the pitch there trying to rise as the the flaps deploy. So just correct that so uh, then knows that actually. It's doing quite nicely. It's a little bit. A little bit of a, a thermal there. 2500. The it. It's very loud. That seems to I don't remember it being that loud last time I flew it. But I guess we'll have to just deal with it. So we're just about to pass six miles. A little bit of up trim as the speed keeps decreasing, just to make sure the, uh, the aircraft stays in trim. Through five and a half miles, I think we'll go for the gear in 15 now, so gear down. Flat 15. Set flat 15 speed. Gears down, three greens, flat 15 set with the green lights. We'll go flat 30. Now we set a speed of 140 as the VRAF. A little bit of up trim, get put in just as the aircraft decelerates to keep ourselves in trim. It's not a contact me, so that's fine. Okay, so landing checklist, energy start switches. Continuous. 1000. Sea break. 
is armed. Landing gear is down. The flaps are flat 30, green light. Landing One thousand. Thousand feet stabilised. Just get back on that uh, localizer dot. very nicely. It's drifting quite easily off to the side, but approaching minimums. It's very loud. Minimums. Landing. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. minutes on the lap time clock. Speed brake slowed. Uh, make a left hand turn here. Drop the flaps. Lovely, we'll clean the aircraft up. Happy days, so that wasn't too bad. Not bad given I've only done a couple of flights in this thing. Happy days. It's not um, too easy stop to um, blank the MCP, so we'll just leave that as it is. A little bit of frost to help us along the way. We're going to taxi um, straight up for Tango here. We'll make a right to Echo. We're all on a remote stand one today, so it's quite far up. Alright in the end, I'm quite happy with that. So it'll be uh, gate one today for us. We're okay on the follow me. Always landing race, minus 119, I'll take that. Make sure that speed doesn't get too high. Yeah, I love the wing flex of this aircraft, it just bobs along as we're taxiing. Looks very realistic. Start to slow it down now. Make this left hand turn here. We're going down at 10 knots, so then we can just coast through the turn. You can see though, the aircraft's still trying to run away with itself. We'll be able to shut that engine number 2 in a second anyway, and that should collar it a little bit. The up to 15 knots already, you know. It's just rolling with itself. So clear left side. Clear right side. Okay, okay I'll shut the APU online. Okay, I'm gonna shut down engine number two. There it goes.
There's our stand on the right here, stand number one. Go down to about seven knots before we turn in. Lights off, Marshall in sight. Cabin crew, the slam doors and cross drive, thank you. Straight on towards the marshaller. Lovely. Path break set. Marshall's happy, two blue, one red. Cut the engines. There's the last one shutting down. Lovely, she's happy. That's what 2000. Happy days. I think that's most of what we need to do. Uh, we'll do the shutdown checklist. So, fuel pumps off, propeats off, hydraulic panel sets, and cross checked. Flaps are up, no lights, parking brake set, start levers are cut off, weather radar is off. Shutdown checklist complete. Lovely. So, we'll request deep warning and the stairs can come up to the aircraft. We will also get the ground um, power connected because they really don't like uh, APUs down the Balearic Islands. They have the strict uh, five minute rules on it. So, get the GPU connected, which it is. We can transfer across and kill the APU before we get ourselves fined. Happy days. So, uh, to stop, we realign the IRS to the turn on so we can kill the IRS. Give that a chance to unalign itself. Now I've uh, really not the way back. Get the shocks in place. Lovely, imagine the ground crew there, signals to stay there in place so we can reach the parking brake. Uh, start the brake cooling time. Happy days. Jobs are good, and so. Have a look at the doors, see where we're up to. Uh, the stairs up, yeah. No, they're coming up though. I still find it weird to look out the window and see the, the max coming. winglet. It, uh, it still catches me by surprise. <laughs> That's there, fully connected, I think it is, so we can, we'll open the door now then. Lovely, and we can open the uh, unlock the flight deck door as well. Whilst we're at it. Lovely. Happy days. I think that is, uh... That should be us. So. Welcome to Menorca. That was a lovely flight, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Nice enough landing, nice enough approach, fairly stable. Slight lefty righty drift, but you know, we do our best. Yeah, this aircraft is a lovely aircraft. I, I know everyone says it, and I know you're probably sick of hearing it by now, but it is genuinely a really nice aircraft. It's very fun to fly, and if you haven't got it already and are thinking about it, definitely go for it. Especially if you were a fan of the PMDGNG. This thing is nice. I really enjoy flying it. Once FS2 crew comes out for it, I, I will see myself flying this constantly. It'll probably be my new, my new favourite aircraft. But yeah, in terms of the flight today, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been a decent enough video uh, for you guys. I, again, I apologise I don't upload very often. Uh, I'm, I'm quite busy at the moment. I'm finished uni, I'm in full-time work now. So it's not very often I actually get a chance to record. The house is always busy, but stuff always going on. It's very hard to get quite a, a nice, calm environment to do a video where I also have the time to do it. So it's a nice change, and every now and then I will try and upload something. It just it might be few and far between as it is in the moment. But anyway, enough rambling from me. Uh, I hope you've had uh, or enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Ta-ra for now.